Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Novotny, I am the Tie Guy, welcome to my YouTube channel, and I'm doing how-to videos on every single way of tying a necktie, and I'm bringing that to you, so if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, then please subscribe. This time I've got a one from a genius called Linwood Darkus, and he's created the Vampire Knot, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Alright, here we go, so pop your collar, put your necktie on around your neck. We're going to be tying it with the little end that's going to be in this hand. Uh, it's probably going to look like on the right hand side in your screen since I don't flip the video. Um, and the big end is on this side. So just follow along with what you have. All right. So also this, this knot does not take up as much material as you're going along. So if you've got a taller body or a wider neck and you find yourself to be running out of material uh, as you finish or try to finish some of these knots, this one should, shouldn't be a problem. All right, so taking the big end, we're gonna do our little pinch, bring that towards the middle. Your little end is gonna cross over the front and wrap around the back, like so. Now, once we've got it here, we wanna fold the little end inwards towards itself, so you're hiding the seam. And I wanna bring this, I'm gonna turn this, bring this up towards your neck hole in front and bring it right back down. Now you want the seam side facing the inside of the knot. You don't want that to be the smooth side. So you'll see that that's the open side. Okay, so I'll tighten that back down. Okay, take the little end, it's gonna cross the back. So now the seam side is facing up. It's gonna cross the front of our knot like so. And from here, we wanna feed that up through the back of the knot. And what happens is the seam side ends up facing outwards as we do that turn and we have the smooth side facing in towards the center of the knot. So taking this little end, wrap it around the back like so. You know, you might want to tighten that a little bit. This is going to start to show like our vampire uh, fangs of our knot and then taking this little end down the same side. So always keeping it folded. And from here, it's probably a good point where I can tighten this up all the way to my neck. I'm not quite finished this knot. And then, uh, there we go, I want it exactly where I want it nice and tight at the top. Taking the last little end, it's gonna cross over the front. So you wanna cross over high enough that you're showing these sort of fangs and you're covering up this sort of mess that you have at the top here. and make sure as you tuck it in your collar that it's tucked in tight because if you've got some silky material you know you might even want to do it twice just to ensure that it's not going to come loose there we go so there's your vampire knot tuck that all in bring your collar down awesome That is how the vampire knot is done. Thank you very much, Linwood. You're a genius for creating such a cool and easy knot to create. Um, and if you guys like it, let me know in the comments below if you're going to be wearing for Halloween or for a vampire Dracula costume or something like that. Uh, I think it's a really cool addition and makes it very unique for your costume. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any ideas for new necktie knots, pocket square folds, or anything like that, let me know. You can always send me a message on my Facebook page or email. And, uh, of course, if you want to tag me on Instagram or Facebook, feel free to do so. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Thank you so much.